Hey there, I'm Mohammed Kamal. Today I would like to walk you through how to upgrade your Renaissance. As you can see right here, I have already logged into my ServiceNow developer instance. Let me tell you a quick thing. So ServiceNow will give you your own developer instance free of charge. So you can, as long as you log in and use it, it so you can use this instance as long as you keep it logging every day and do something on it. The trick to do is, you now log in your 10 days, uh, consecutive 10 days, service now we're gonna reclaim that instance. All right, so uh, after we logged into our developer instance, the next thing is under manage, in the menu manage, you got instance. You click over here, once we clicked in the instance, we'll come up here. So here, here you can see, this is my dev instance, which is my developer instance, 81794. Here is the URL for my instance. And the build, the build means the instance that I have right now is the Madrid instance. So ServiceNow, uh, the good thing here, ServiceNow is every six months there will be a new release. So we are already past the Madrid release to a New York release. So right now, ServiceNow is a New York release. Any client or developer, if they wanna want to upgrade their instance, you can do so. So today, I will walk you through how to upgrade your instance from older version, like the Madrid instance to a New York instance. Awesome, it's in a very few quick, quick uh, steps. So what you can do here is under action, under action menu, you just click up there and you'll have a different option here. The first one here say activate plugin. So if you wanna activate your plugin, what is plugin? Plugin means, so it's different applications with a different functionality. So if you wanna activate those plugins, you can go ahead and click uh, click here under activate plugins. You'll have a list of plugins that are activated and not activated. So you can select those plugins and you can activate in your developer instance. Release instance, please don't click this one, the second one. What does the release instance do with that? That means you have a developer instance here and if you don't wanna use it anymore, you can just click this one and the service now is gonna check it. And the other one is remove demo data. If you wanna remove your demo data, whatever demo data you have, you can do so by clicking the third option here. The reset admin password, sometimes you might forget your password. So that way, if you wanna reset your password, you can come back here and you can reset your admin password. And the uh, fifth one is reset and wipe instance. So if you wanna wipe, let's say you do some, uh, you know, ServiceNow has a baseline applications, which we call it ob the uh, out of the bags, but normally we call them the baseline applications. So if you mess up with those baseline application, and if you wanna, bring your instance back to the older version, you can do here, which is a reset and wipe instance. When I say older version is not back to another instance, but you still will be in the Madrid instance, you will have like a fresh instance, a fresh Madrid instance. So you can do so by clicking here. Then here is what we're going to di discuss today in detail, which is upgrade instance. What is upgrade instance will do is that you can upgrade your instance from whatever instance or build that you are right now to the next level, which is the next level available now. So you can, or click just directly to upgrade to New York instance. This is an option, uh, why service now at this option is that, let's say you might be not moderate because right now my instance is just below uh, New York, which is the Madrid instance. There is any, there is nothing between Madrid and New York. But before Madrid, there is London instance. So let's say if you are in London instance, if you want to upgrade your instance from London directly passing the Madrid, you can just click here, upgrade to New York instance. How cool it is. Yes, it is. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade our instance just by clicking to upgrade to New York instance. All right, so it's gonna, you're gonna have this um, a pop-up question saying being on the latest version release is exciting, but not without risk. Are you sure you want to upgrade to New York? Patch number one. So what it does mean is upgrading your instance from older version to a new version has so many functionalities, a lot of functionality, but 
there are some risks all right if you have so many custom applications that you customize from the baseline application you might lose those applications okay you might lose you not do it very cautiously so that is the risk is gonna tell you here it's warning you i'm gonna say yes okay now my application which is the uh, my instance my instance is going to upgrade from Madrid instance to in New York instance. We're just going to give it a few minutes until this, okay? The upgrade will take place. So by this time, you're not, you're not allowed to do anything here. You see what it say? Your instance is in the process of being upgraded. We will notify you through email when the upgrade is complete. What it does that is now ServiceNow is taking care of that upgrade of your Madrid instance to a London instance, a Madrid instance to a New York instance. What it does that is all those uh, taken care. I mean, the code and everything, the upgrading is going to be once completed. You will get an email notification say that your New York release is ready now. You can use it. But until then, I will not going to do anything on this instance, so I have to wait. So once I got that email, I'll go ahead and show you what new features that the, the uh, New York release has. I will definitely show you. All right. But until then, let's, let me go ahead and show you a few things here from the website. So here is the, the New York release. So every time when ServiceNow has a new release, a new release, it will have... It will have an information which is called a release notes a release note so that release note will give you a detail about what are the new functionalities what are the new functionalities you have so to make people familiarize with that make work better with service now all right let's let's go back and see if i can give you some highlights until my instance get ready all right just gonna click here service now New York release notes perfect all right this is the New York the New York release note which it just came out so this New York release note has so many new functionalities so many upgrades here is here is upgrade information for all the New York features in product we have new features with product in the New York there are some few changes in New York. I mean, change means like if it was something and they're gonna be changed. Let's go ahead and see some of the new features in New York. One is the advanced work assignment. What is the word advanced work assignment? So work assignment basically, uh, let's say you have an instance, you have an incident. So when you have that instance, you your instance, okay, you configure that, uh, you configure that application and you can do an advanced work assignment. So assigning that work in advance. So there are some new things here. So if you are using the connect support and want to move to advanced work assignment in agent chat, you need to look this URL here, which is migrate from the connect support to the advanced. The other new functionality added is the agent workspace. For the New York release, you can use a declarative action format to exclude new UI actions instead of adding table to a new button list. So here are, you know, this is another cool feature, which is the antivirus scanning. So antivirus scanning scans all the document types that are supported by the now platform in New York. Some attachments might be unavailable for downloading if the security scan fail or if attachments are it's a vulnerable. So what do this antivirus scanning is that when you bring any data, to the service now instance it's in pdf or a doc it's just gonna scan that for you there are some types of file it may not gonna scan it but most of the file with the new york release is gonna be scannable so it can be scanned for antivirus there's an authentication in you anything on cloud management configuration which is cmdb configuration management database so many new cool features all right so hope you guys understand how to upgrade your instance from previous version to a new version and also not just upgrading and the other one is exploring the the release node that is very important so before you upgrade any instance you have to make sure that what new functionality i'm going to get by upgrading my instance 
it just just it just for upgrade purpose don't upgrade it so if you are just make sure what you're going to get from that new instance yes go ahead and upgrade your instance all right so that's all i have for today until we see each other with another episode of service now star uh, video until then have a great day